This really grosses me out. If you're going to use seven legs for decor, at least do it properly. <laughs> it's not artistic enough. There's some lights here. Fire extinguisher, maybe you can pick that up. I probably should leave it just in case I start a fire. Fair enough. Leaking vent. Do I have my mug still? You're just mashing things together now, aren't you? I am not. Fuck off. Warning sign. Warning. Do not dive in the shallow end. Guardrails. Let's talk to the guardrails. Hello. Hello, inappropriately small <laughs> guardrail. <laughs> Is it really a guardrail if it doesn't really do its job Hello, properly? Confusing warning sign. Hello, leg. How did you get up there, you little rascal? Oh, if, that, if only it twitched when, when he said that. Alright, let's look at this. I was never a huge fan of guided tours. I'm more of a lone wolf myself. Putting my own narrative on things, for example, Mona Lisa was an ex cop down on her luck. Then Da Vinci, the lovable dog, showed her that life is worth living. Ah. Uh, See? Much more interesting. No, I get you. I get you, buddy. Let's use it. Whoa. This is actually pretty cool. It's a Tupogen with cassette. I heard they only made one batch because children began to herald them as the one true god. Let's do this. You're gonna do this double day, double day, order to and uh, Most importantly, you can really use as your new best travel map. Okay. <laughs> That's my inventory, of course. <laughs> Bloody Bluetooth facility tour, of course. Welcome to the official tour for Duper Genetics. We'd like to dispel the rumors of being an evil company and take you on a wonder-filled trip that Please in do. no way will cause you any injury. Unless, of course, you are spying for the Ethics Union. We well, can't prove that in I which am, case, so... We are not responsible for your painful, fatal accident. Emphasis on accident for all you lawyers out there. <laughs> Holla! Please step onto the red dot at the end of the hall when you are ready. Oh, lovely. Okay. Right here, buddy. Congratulations. You made it to the red dot without <laughs> dying. You are not ethics union scum. This concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics facility. As a closing note, those cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more voiceover. How am I supposed to live on these terrible wages? <laughs> I'm taking you down with me, Duper Genetics. Uh -oh. You hear me? This whole place is going to explode any second. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Get away from me! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you again for attending the Duper Genetics tour. Have a nice day. Thank you, other voiceover. Alright. What kind of games I got on here? Post apocalyptic dating sim. Endless ex existential runner. Oh, I like this one. Oh boy. This is where I'm gonna spend half the game just playing this. Choose your date Noodleheads Nelson. Tina Toaster. Jerry the Human Duck. I love him. Okay, it's, it's gonna have to be Tina to I mean, the Human Duck. The duck who grew up on a small farm who wound up in the big city. I sometimes miss the clean water. Definitely, okay. Okay, he's good at rapping and breadcrumbs. He's got dope shoes. He really likes dope shoes. Alright, let's try and swoon him. Oh shit. Whoops. Oh man, I messed up. What do I do for fun? <laughs> okay, hold my breath as long as I can for breath. Aw, oh, dude, yeah. And there's ducks. Hell yeah. Yeah, he gave me a thumbs up. What a nice guy. 
Do I like traveling? Of course. <laughs> Let's get real specific and very duck-like. <laughs> There's a man who was murdered. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're not dark people, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you have my plus one sort of virginity. Oh man, that's me right now, y'all, right there. What? No, weird. <laughs> As long as the evil race is nowhere related to ducks. This guy is easy to please. He's just choosing all the not duck stuff. Oh, Flobo Bubular. Hell no, I can't see him with a peasant like that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Who do you think is smarter on average? Humans? Duck humans? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Is it okay to smack your kids? Depends on their mutation. Some will straight up murder you if they can try. Not if they hit, not when they hit man duck hood and they will seek the head, revenge. Quack. Yeah. Usually a mutant Santa. Quack. Hell yeah. Quack. Well, who do you date outside of your mutant genome? Quack. Oh. Quack. I like tattoos. Especially tumor tattoos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh dude, of course I do. I have like 15 feet. Oh yeah. no! I love shoes! What are my thoughts on breadcrumbs? Oh yes, breadcrumbs. <laughs> you like hip hop? I listen to good music. Oh god, kind of. It's <laughs> a vanilla cute count. <laughs> Your partner's waiting important to you. Yes, more cushion to avoid a lot of concussion. Ah! Does bioluminescence turn you on? No, easier for cannibal raiders to spot us at night. See, yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm on to you. For an eat duck, what seasoning would you use? I cannot afford spices. What am I in use? Yeah. What do you think of more ducks' policies on world domination? Uh, oh. I'm not a politics guy, I just murder and steal. Would you consider double morphing on a first date? Only after ecto marriage? Yes, but it's not crucial. Yeah! Can you date someone really quiet? It doesn't bother me. Fuck. Enough questions, get to some floor play. Show me what you got. Oh shit! <laughs> Motherfucking bread. <laughs> you know how to make a duck blush, which is weird considering we don't have cheeks. But you will have to prove to me that you can be a provider. Collect as many breadcrumbs as you can before the time runs out. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I got it. Jerry's obsessed with you. Your hovel is now full of mixtapes. You can barely eat your breakfast. If anyone flirts with you, he will quack aggressively. As aggressive, aggressive quacking can be. Mostly it warrants laughter rather than fear. You're too good at duck human seduction. Do I, do I, have I unlocked another one? Okay, no. I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go for it for the toaster now. Or do I? No, no, no. I need to get back to the story. Another time, Tina Toaster. Okay. Where was I? Right, this way. <laughs> Try the first Ugh, new product from weird. 2027. Feels like I've been here before. Just, I can't go anywhere but the red button. Oh, the organizer. Never yeah, 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 yeah. I really wish something really crazy would go down around here. All I get to do is beat down on employees who insult the company on social media. One guy tried to turn Olaf into a meme and I got to waterboard him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
gets really boring after a while, to be honest. I'm considering applying to the government cyborg program. I've told it helps with picking up, uh, with picking up, and also with ED, apparently. Oh, God. Alright, let's use the red button. Maybe we should save first, just in case. You never know, red buttons can be sinister. I swear to God, if you do any weird stuff, I'm going to be so upset with you. I'm not sure how effective the sun treatment is on buttons, but I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Thank God that is over. I was actually a raver one time in my life. Then I was in a fatal shuffling accident. Ten people died that day. Oh no. That was the day I hanged up my fat pants. With good reason, paradigm. But we drop what seems to be a lightsaber. <laughs> I used to tease an elegant with one of these. And it got a restraining order against me. The worst. Let's continue on, shall we? Oh words. John 3DS again. Oh god, thank god you called. Is the station still going to explode? Oh, yeah, about that. I can't have made that up just so I could have a few birds I over fucking knew privacy. it. You're always at home, mate. And AI needs a privacy. No hard feelings, pair dog. Ugh, I'm going to unplug you for at least a month <laughs> next time I see you. Yeah, fair enough. Can you uh, help me get away from wherever I am? Yeah. Looks like I'm on my own again. What a piece this of place shit. Ain't so bad. Right. Save for the underlying feeling of doom and extreme anxiety about why someone would teleport me through space and time only to be imprisoned by a talking water cooler. Alright, cupcake salesperson, what do you got? I shall use you to up my calorie intake to sickening levels. See, the scary part is she's wearing like a gas the mask. And your think. goggles really brings out your eyebrows. Do you get them threaded? I noticed. All right, let's, let's, let's talk to this person. Hello. Welcome to Cuppy Cupcakes. We put the eggs in cupcakes, implying that you ache because you ate so much because it was so good, not because you got food poisoning. Are these gluten-free or vegan? Uh. Why the hazmat gear? Pretty sure we are below the lethal dose in here. Well, you see, I lived in the radioactive wasteland for so long, my body got accustomed to radiation. Now, when I don't get it and breathe fresh air, my body decides to shut down. I'm breathing in pure plutonium now. Oh, lovely. <sighs> I love the smell of splitting atoms any time of day. Do you get uh, much business here, or...? Oh, you have no idea. Office workers' lack of self-control really helps the cupcake business. I just replied to 10 emails, I deserve this. I'll have one more cupcake and start my diet. Then You're exploiting them. Then everyone lost their jobs and I lost a lot of customers. But I've got coupons and memberships now. They will come. Don't you still need uh, customers for that to be effective? Don't you ever speak ill of coupons again. Okay, let's, let's get I a cupcake. would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? No, I I don't think so. No cupcake for you. All right then. Why the cupcake avatar? A nondescript gas mask wearing humanoid figure isn't exactly great for sales. Good point. I also get way more matches on online dating sites this way. I... Although when they find out I'm not a cupcake, it's a bit of a problem. We usually find a middle ground, though. Are these gluten-free and vegan? Yes, most definitely. We make sure they have room to flap their wings and perch. Isn't that... Uh, ch chickens? <laughs> that took me a second, God damn it. Okay, uh... Can you uh, tell me anything about this place? Sure, it's the Dupa Genetics main facility. They make prodigy children here, as well as other useful products. 
I have a deal with the CEO that I can set up shop here as long as I provide him with free cupcakes. Although he's dead now and all the employees are gone. But I have coupons. Believe in the coupon. All right. See ya. I'll peruse your right, cupcake selection later. This isn't a cupcake library. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. Hmm. Maybe I should start the cupcake library. Alright. All I have is a mug. Prodigy Child Chamber. These... These feelings. What is this? I feel a special connection with them. <laughs> Look at those stupid baby arms. Wizard. Cat. Hello, Prodigy Child Hologram. Man. I totally want the prodigy child now. Dibs on the wizard, babe. <laughs> the more I think about it, it would be handy to have my own prodigy child. Okay. Uh, let's go look at the vending machine. Oh man, this vending machine doesn't have a talking sentient sea creature as a cashier. What a jib. <laughs> right, what do we got here? We don't have any cruise marks, plus one life, I like that. How to get rich quick with adventure games. Instant tree. Give me a three. This ain't free. I need that cash money. Okay, I don't have any money though. Coin slot. Ah, oh, bummer. Alright. 